Hello, in this video we're going to look at calculating the real exchange rate. I will use two examples. So first, some preliminaries. The nominal exchange rate is a rate at which one country's currency trades for another country's currency. So currently roughly one US dollar equals 1.31 Canadian dollars. So one US dollar will get you back 1.31 Canadian dollars. The real exchange rate is a rate at which one country's goods can be traded for another country's goods. Uh, and the formula for the real exchange rate is given by the following. So let's do an example. Example one, uh, the nominal exchange rate between the dollar and the uh, Mexican peso is, let's say, one U.S. dollar equals 10 pesos. In Mexico, the price of avocados is 50 pesos per bag. In the U.S., the price of avocados is $10 per bag. Putting this information in our formula, we will start with the nominal exchange rate. So we're going to write it as 10 pesos per dollar, so plugging that in like this. Then getting the domestic price, uh, it's $10 per U.S. bag of avocados, and that's going to be divided by the price of avocados in Mexico, 50 pesos per one Mexican bag of avocados. Next, we're just going to simplify this. Uh, so pesos and pesos cancel, dollars and dollars cancel. And so you're left with something like this, where 100 times um, 10 is, where 10 times 10 is 100, and 50 times 1 is 50. And then I'm um, going to manipulate this a little bit. We got this denominator here, 50 divided by uh, one Mexican bag of avocados. I'm just going to take the reciprocal of that. So we're going to take Mexican avocado bag divided by 50, and I'm going to multiply through that, that uh, through the denominator and numerator. So doing that, we get something like this. Okay, so uh, simplifying, uh, 100 divided by 50 is 2, and you get two Mexican avocado bags per one U.S. avocado bag. That is the real exchange rate. And example two, uh, looking at the, ex the nominal exchange rate between the dollar and the euro. Let's say one dollar will get you back 0 0.9 euros. In Germany, guitars sell for 1,000 euros. In the U.S., let's say $800. Plugging that information in, 0 0.9 euros per dollar multiplied by the domestic price and the foreign price. The euros and the dollars cancel. 0.9 times 800 is 720. 1,000 times 1 is 1,000. And you get something like this. And then again, doing what we did in the last slide, uh, taking the reciprocal of this and multiplying it through by the denominator and the numerator. So multiplying it through by the reciprocal of this, multiplying it through by the denominator, that just equals 1. Multiplying it through by the numerator will give you 0.72 German guitars per one U.S. guitar. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.